Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. What's up? What's up? Winning Cures Everything. This is the NFL Big Game Previews for week number three. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. Lots to discuss today. Obviously, tons of NFL injuries and whatnot. You can go back and watch our NFL Week 2 recap to get all of that information. But we're going to discuss the previews. Let's turn that music down. NFL Big Game Previews. The show brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books. I was just down at them last weekend. Fantastic stuff. Bunch of them got kiosks set up now. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Horseshoe does not have theirs yet. Gold Strike, I didn't see any at their place. Samstown has like six of them. They're all over the place over there. Hollywood, they got one. Uh, I'm telling you, these places are great. Go check them out for yourself. Fantastic stuff. You can find more information on it over at tunicatravel.com. You can find more information about us at winningcureseverything.com. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Leave us some comments. Tell us what you like, what you don't like. Tell us where you agree, where you don't agree, because I know a lot of you don't agree with what we think, and that's fine. Um, a lot of you don't agree with what Chris thinks either, and that's fine. But it is what it is. You said we. You didn't have to single me out. I, well, I'm just saying. There were there were some guys we, that were calling you out. We that's, were the same person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, let's jump into the big games of the week, and then we'll, uh, we'll hit on the interesting matchups, the extra points. Big game number one. One of the biggest games of the year. I think it might be. This is. This I mean, it, I'm so ready. If this is a letdown, I'm going to be disappointed. Chiefs and Ravens. Golly, Lamar, Chiefs, Patrick. Yeah, come on. This is Chiefs what I minus up for six this and year. a half. What, what's the total on this one? Fifty-two. Uh, big. Big. Big him. Uh, what? Fifty-five. Fifty-four and a half. Fifty-four and a half. Fifty-four and a half. Um, Lamar Jackson looks. Unbelievable. I had somebody ask me about Lamar Jackson today on Twitter. Okay. And they said, is this just a real quick blip, or is he going to remain good for the rest of the season? So they asked the one of us that hates Lamar. Yes. And you you will be proud of what I said. Okay. I said, I think think this is a full-year thing. They built this offense. Around him. Around him, and it is brilliant. If he doesn't like what he sees, he has lanes to be able to run. If he doesn't like what he sees down the field, he has got his tight end to be able to throw to. So Correct. for his, his mid-range. Checking down. And then he's got speedsters. That's right. I mean, just. And up. he's got a cannon, and he can hit them deep. Yes. And, and he has a really pretty deep. Hollywood ball. Brown has been. So good. So unbelievable. Good. This is a fun team. Yeah, they really are. Uh, and they'll put up some points. I've spent the my entire adult life hating, hating this organization, despising everything about them. Lamar, building bridges. Yeah, a little bit. Bringing, bringing people together. Uh, Mahomes, Tearing down that wall. Mahomes, of course. Yeah. It doesn't matter who he's, he has playing on his team. He's the MVP. He might throw 60 touchdowns. He's just incredible. Yeah, he really is. Uh, I did bring up on the recap show his success rate in the red zone. Has not been that good. In a game that he threw for almost 450 yards and four touchdowns, he wasn't in the red zone a lot. Well, that's that's what I was going to Because he at. throws for 40-yard bombs. Yeah. He, he When you don't get into the red zone a lot because you've got so many explosive plays. Because you plays, score from 30 yards out instead of 20. The success rate really doesn't matter at that point. Like it, The success rate is, is about 38%, which is 27th in the league. Last year, he was second in the league. If he had 450 yeah. yards and one touchdown, I would be concerned. But no, not, not with this. Now, I was a little concerned because they didn't score any in the second half. It's fine. But Did I they win the game? Handily? Yeah, they won the game. They beat the hell out of them? Yeah, they, they wouldn't Scored a bunch of points. Won their, their last ball game in Oakland. Ever. As, ever. Ever. Ever, yeah. Um, that was pretty big, pretty big showing. As far as picks go, the fact that this has gone down to six and a half, I think I still might ride with the Ravens. I'm taking Baltimore. I'm riding Lamar. Hey, the, this Chiefs team is really good. 
but they're going to get got. And there's yeah. only a few teams in the league that can get them. Yeah. Okay. And you're taking the Ravens to win straight up. I'm going to I'm going to take the Ravens to win the game. I'm going to take the Chiefs to win. I'm going to take the Ravens cuz this is still in Kansas City. Correct. Um Yeah, I Yeah, I'm taking the Chiefs to win straight up. I'm taking the Ravens to cover. This will be one of two really good offenses the Chiefs have to play all year. Yeah. So, and there's yeah, it's like you said there ain't that many. No. Uh, not, so especially not in that division. You're taking Ravens straight up and and I'll pull the, the upset. Here. I'll pull the upset. Okay. I'm with it. Game number two, uh, you will actually be at this game. I'll be there. That's right. Got my ticket and everything. The Rams minus three at the Browns. Sunday night football. Coming to Cleveland, baby. Your Brownies finally got the win. Got a win. Look good doing it, too. Look pretty good. Now, obviously. A lot to work on still. Yeah. But, uh, but I, hey, Odell Beckham Jr. There's a reason you just kind of deal with his pain in the ass stuff. I'll tell you this. I was pretty excited about it because I, so I took over one of my buddy's uh, legacy teams or whatever it's called in in fantasy, right? And he I had really hard not to talk fantasy football. Uh, yeah, but I like I I'm I'm gonna throw it out there because like this is a big game preview, whatever. But everybody wants to hear about somebody else's fantasy team. His he I had OBJ on this thing, and he had awesome. like I had to get twenty five and a half points. Yep. This dude scored like 27 fantasy points last sure. night. It was ridiculous. Uh, but Wait. I think he's going to be able to do that against a lot of people. Podcasts are turning off all over the place. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Actually, that's not fine. Please, God, keep listening. Keep keep watching. <laughs> but, man, I'm telling you. like I think He's really he's good gonna, at football. Yeah, Which really is good. why you deal with his piddly pain in the ass stuff. Yeah. Because it's I, not real destructive. It's just annoying. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think you're right. Nobody really gets hurt in the stuff that he talks about and does. It's just all about him, and that's fine. You put him on an island. You say, go real far. I'm going to throw the ball up. You make the catch, and you score, and we're okay. The The only thing that I'm worried about with the Browns right now is this offensive line. Oh, yeah. They've got a lot to work on. I, I thought The Browns be, are not a finished product at all. I thought they'd be a better unit. No, I no, no, no. I, okay, I thought they would be above average. But I think the grading of average has gone down in the league. They yeah. they may finish top fifteen offensive lines when the season's over yeah, with. But they ain't but, good. But they're not good. They're not good. Baker's gonna have to get the ball out faster. One thing they're just gonna have to do. It drove me insane. First, this started the very first quarter of the game, so it's not the end of the game, and and they're bleeding the clock down. Every single play call, every snap, gets down into. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. That is the offense not getting the play in in time. Yeah. I, so I had a conversation with a Cleveland friend of mine that's connected to the team. Used to do a uh, an AM radio show there and then went on the internet, talked Brown stuff for a while, connected, wrote for, for the team and, and for a couple of sports, not newspapers, when newspapers died, they were looking for freelancers. Um, so he's, he's connected, he's plugged in, and he and I had the conversation. I said, look, this might be... Uh, an unpopular opinion. Todd Munkin's a hell of a football man. He's a really good offensive coordinator. I think all that takes on being a head coach, especially for the first time, I would not want Freddie to have that responsibility right now. At least yeah. for this year, let's get your... And it's not an overreaction of how the offense has looked the first two weeks because I think they're going to... I just think it's really hard to be a head coach. There's a reason that 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 the stress and all the work goes into it if you could take one thing off of his plate and put it on a very, very capable hands of someone else, I think I would do that right now. Yeah, I think I agree. But not my decision, not my not my, not my problem, but um, the offense is getting better. They're going to struggle. I think it's going to be a lower-scoring game. Oh, I, I, I agree. I think, I think the, Bear, the, the Browns' defense is getting better. There's nobody in the league that can block Miles Garrett. There's just no one in the league that can do it. Yeah, you might be right. But I do wonder if there's anybody in the league that can block Aaron Darnold. Uh, Aaron, uh, is, Aaron, is Aaron Darnold? I mean, is, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. No, that's it. Uh, You're good, Aaron Darnold. Donald. 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 Um, I was thinking if, Sam yeah, Darnold because if, of the. If, if uh, right. here's the problem, is he going to play? Is he healthy? Uh, so far as everything I've read, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, right. I, I he went out the Saints. He went out to the Saints game. So 
Yeah, but they, I mean, they, they've all said that he'll be back this week. Okay. Now, I, I, unless I've missed something, did you see something else? No, 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 I didn't see anything that's normal people don't see, but okay, it's rare for him to come out of games the way he did. Uh, give me a pick. I'm going with my Browns. Browns straight up. They're going to win this football game. They're a home dog at night in prime time on Sunday night football. The first time Sunday night, Monday night football have been to Cleveland in over a decade. They're coming away with the W. Okay. And the Rams just aren't going to go undefeated. It's just not going to happen. They're going to go undefeated. They're going to fall apart. They're going to have a bad game here or there. And I'm going to tell you this. If Miles Garrett's going to be breaking ankles, what happens if golf goes down? Because that's not out of the realm of possibilities. I mean, at that point, who is their backup right now? I don't. Blake Bortles. Oh, yeah. I do know the answer to that. I'm going to go with the Rams here. Go ahead. I'm going I'm to take That's three. the right move. That's the smart move. I mean, that's, that's, that's the, that is the play, especially to win. Now, there might be people that will take it. So let me give you a little Vegas Insider information. 93% of the people, as of Tuesday evening, almost Wednesday morning, are on the Rams. I feel better and better about this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll side with the prime <sighs> prime time in Cleveland, baby. No, go with the Rams, please. please I'll, I'll please roll with the Rams. Rams. That's, yeah, I'll stick I'll stick with the Rams. That's stick fine. With them. That's fine. It's you be you get your W. It's gonna be That'll incredible. be all right. All right, game number three, um, the Texans at the Chargers. Now, Chargers didn't look real good last week. Well, they haven't looked good in two weeks. No, they they haven't looked good. Period. No. Um. What's the what's the money like? I mean, it's seventy four percent on Houston. Yep. But I don't like Houston either. Nope. I just me neither. Yeah, you know what's crazy? Like these are supposed to be two of the better teams. They're not, and they are so not. They're not. I look and I love the Chargers. You know how I feel about this team. But it, I mean, that's that's my Super Bowl team. This yeah, year. I'm a, I'm a Philip Rivers fan. I've defended him forever. They're just not this team. Is too hurt. Nobody's consistent. They they need Mike Williams to be healthy and stay healthy. They need Keenan Allen to be healthy and stay healthy. And when they get in the red zone, they need to hand the ball to our boy, Jaron Jackson. Because Mike Eckler has carried the ball. Justin Jackson. Justin, Justin Jackson, yeah. yeah J- Jaron J- Jackson J- plays for the Grizzlies. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting all my, my JJs mixed up. J3. Yeah. J3. Um, Austin Eckler, I called him Mike Eckler. Because it's late and I'm I'm crazy. Yeah. Austin Eckler has carried the ball in both games, got in the red zone, and fumbled both times. This guy is a pass catching back. He gets out in the open field. He's really, really good. Yeah. When you get all these big nasty dudes together, he didn't run between the tackles. He didn't no. run between the guards. That's what Justin does. Yeah. I, I don't think Eckler's good at that. Quit putting um, Eckler in the game in that situation. Yeah, it pisses I, me off. But well, you remember last year, I was so high on Anthony Lynn. I was like, he proved everybody wrong, and uh, and it, it and it's not. He's it's not, not terrible. His decision. No, well, some of um, it is, but you're right. But man, that, it, it, there's just some stuff that's going on this year that's very questionable. If I have to pick this game, what's the line? Three. Yeah, three. I'm gonna take the Chargers because I don't know how not to take the Chargers. Well, it's, it, see, I don't trust Bill O'Brien here either. There's, there's no team that loves uh, me in like them. Yeah, I'm I'm rolling the same way. I mean, I I'm all favorites right now. Um, I don't think I will be. No, you took the Ravens. You're I took the Ravens favorites. plus six and a half, but I took the the Chiefs to oh, win. Oh, you're talking about oh, just yeah, Ravens. just like straight up. I haven't taken a, a dog to win yet. Um, but that's okay. I mean, we'll we'll figure this out. So, game number four. Falcons at the Colts. Colts are a one and a half point favorite. I the Colts have looked really good. They're a really good football team. Now that being said, like we said that the Chargers didn't look real good in Week One, but they did get the win over the Colts. Correct. Uh, they didn't cover for me, but that's okay. Uh, Colts coming home for the first time. The Colts are not two and zero strictly because Adam Vinatieri has left like fourteen points out on the field. In Miss Field Yeah, everybody kind of. Did you see the Pat McAfee thing? No. McAfee did a video that was like. But uh, I love Pat. So in I need honor, to find it. he said, in honor of, you know, Vinatieri, 
you know, the goat possibly retiring. Uh, there's only one thing left to do, and it shows him putting on his Colts jersey, and he's going out to the practice field, and he lines up to kick a field goal, and he kicks it, and you hear him like, cousin, it's Emma for this, and whatever, and he goes, all right, so that's not going to work. <laughs> but what you can do is go over to FanDuel, and, yeah. you know, it's all yeah, this case. It's an advertisement. Yeah, plug. Uh, but, yeah, he, it's, it was hilarious. But, yeah, Vinatieri... They they are they are for not not just like a missed extra point here and a missed field goal there, that that Chargers game he missed two field goals two extra points. Yeah, that's that's eight points there. It's eight points you lose he by. He missed two extra points. Six and did he miss a field goal against the Titans? Yes. Yeah, so he missed a field goal and two yeah. extra points. He's missed he's missed a lot, a lot. So I mean we're we're talking. So I, I just think. They'll get those things cleaned up. They'll get somebody in that can kick that's not 45 years old. And they'll be – I like this Colts team. I've got the Colts winning. I think I like them to win this division. I I think it's hard to lose a guy like Luck, but that tells you how good of a job they've done building this team to where – They can win without him. They are finally in a position where they are not all about one guy. Yeah. It's – I. Man, I want to take the Falcons here so bad. Oh, and after that what's, Sunday what's, night game? What's the money looking like? After that Sunday night football game, I wouldn't put one nickel on the Falcons. They won that game. It's 80% Falcons. Go good. On. Go Lord, on. Get, give me Go the Colts. Go on to do it. No, I'm do good. It. Colts minus one and a half. It's going to be spectacular. For both of us. Right? You're taking Colts? Yes, sir. Okay. Minus one and a half. All right. Game number five. This That's is going to be a big game. Yeah. Now it's like we need five games for the big games. The Saints, there's not a lot of big games this week. Well, there's some that are that are intriguing. Yes, I, um, I'm going to tell you this: if the Jags can get to 500, then every game they play, it's going to start oh, being yeah. a big game because they're not going to blow anybody out, so they're all going to be close games. And then the second thing is they got a star at quarterback that is. The most intriguing person in the NFL. Uh, I do agree with that. So we need we need some of these dudes to turn into stars. I think Minshew could do that, but uh, so we're not talking about that. We're talking about the Saints and the Seahawks. Yes, for this one, but we'll get into the other stuff here yes. momentarily. Uh, Saints and Seahawks. Seahawks minus four. Uh, what's our money looking like here? It's pretty even. Oh, no, it's not. It was public. I remember. I told Seventy-six percent. Yeah. On that's the Seattle. that's the only bet that I'm I'm just sucker betting it, all in on the public. I love this team. I I haven't liked them recently, but you know how I feel about Russell Wilson, and last year's yep. Russell Wilson broke my heart because for the last three, four, five years of Russell Wilson being in my life, he was hustle and bustle. He was one of the most Entertaining and spectacular quarterbacks on the field. Last year, the offense just took everything he was good at and dumbed it way down. Yeah. And they, they put the governor on him. And they said, no, you don't get to drive over 55. And it was terrible. Yeah. They put up good fantasy points, and he still won a bunch of games. But it wasn't the same. I mean, they made it to the playoffs, it, but once but he, they got into the playoffs. He it, wasn't the same Russell Wilson. Well, no, and I told you that that's what worried me about him because I was it's still too. Brian Schottenheimer no, calling I'm the getting, offense. I'm getting it. But they they changed it up. I don't know. Bit. I don't know if they changed it up. I have no. I'm not plugged into this team. I don't have any connections in Seattle. I know this. They got in that Steelers game, and he said, "No, I'm going back to the old Russell. We are airing this thing out. Y'all go deep. You run posts. You run slants. There's no three, four, five yard outs anymore. We are we are lighting it up. If I can't get it, I'm running. Yep. But we are going. We're turning this offense back up to eleven. And and they did. I know they did it against a bad defense. The Saints defense is far, far better than the Steelers defense has been. And and that's going to be a tougher thing. I think Bridgewater is going to be much improved from just getting thrown in the game. If there's any coach that I trust to get a quarterback ready in one week, it's Sean Payton. But with all that being said, man, I, I'm I'm taking the Seahawks and I'm going with the public strictly on the philosophy of I want Russell Wilson to be exciting again. I need explosive I think Russell Wilson in my life. And if he is, Bridgewater can't hang with that. They, they'll they win this game, and they'll win by a touchdown. We'll, uh, we'll talk about this in the Gambling Picks uh, podcast, okay. the NFL one. Uh, and I've got some stats that 
I got kind you. of back things up uh, with the way that I'm leaning there. I, I'm going Seahawks minus four. Cool. You're going Seahawks minus four. I'm going Seahawks minus four. We are siding with the public, and that is a terrifying thing. You know what I might do in this game? That over-under is 44 and a half. I, I actually like the over. 44 and a half, and you I, like the over? I win. think this – I a, I Dude, think, I think Teddy Seahawks, Bridgewater looked – Awful. He's gonna look, but he's gonna look better. They're gonna score. They're gonna score at least twice. If if Russell and Wilson score thirty five and they get fourteen plus maybe a field goal here or there, I'm I'm I busted and we're good. I I look, you can do what you want, and I could be dead ass wrong. I've been it before. That's fine. I I think Russell Wilson's offense is gonna be much better, and I think Teddy Bridgewater is gonna get this offense looking decent. Okay. And I also think Sean's gonna have some tricks up his sleeve. They're not going to run just a conventional offense for four quarters. No. Because that's not the Sean Payton I know. When he gets back into a corner, he he, he just yeah. pulls some stuff out. He, he We're going to see Taysom Hill a lot. No, I think uh, I think you're right about that. All right, let's, uh, let's move into the extra points really quick. Steelers at the 49ers. 49ers a six-and-a-half-point favorite. It was a pick em to start, and then Roethlisberger, it was announced he's out for the season. Right. Line jumped up to seven. It's back down to six and a half. Uh, public seems to be big time on uh, on the Steelers, right? Yes, sir. Sixty three percent, seventy eight percent, seventy eight percent of the money on the oh, Steelers. Oh, that's money. I'm spread. Yeah, yeah, the spread sixty three percent on the Steelers to cover. Zero um, and two Steelers versus two and 0 49ers. No, I don't think anybody. Saw nobody that. had that coming. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I th- you know, if I had to lean one way. I'm I'm probably leaning Steelers because it's just way too many points, and I think Mason Rudolph is pretty good. Like I, I think Rudolph's he looked okay. Gonna, Mason Rudolph's going to be fine. Listen, that offense didn't look any worse with him in there than Ben. No, I I think it looked a little better. Yeah, like so Chris Long for and I think that I could have to do the, with the injury the podcast, but but um, Chris Long was on Ryan Russillo's podcast on the Ringer and on Mondays, and he talked about how I always like watching backup quarterbacks. And how the team celebrates them after they score their first touchdown, and you can tell: does the team believe in this guy, or is it a relief? Is it a, oh, all right, we got one, or is it a they love this guy and they're fired up? And he said, I- I'm telling you, the way the Steelers celebrated around him, they they trust him. The guys on the field trust him just as much as they trust Ben. That's so that's, awesome. that could speak well for him and for that organization going through the rest of this year. I think for the first time in since he's been there, we're finally getting the Kyle Shanahan team that we've waited for for three years. Garoppolo's looked pretty good. Garoppolo's looked and that defense really good. Holy and that crap, front, that the defense. front now they've still got no secondary. They got no secondary Ooh. whatsoever. But you know what the, a bad secondary's best friend is? A front seven. And they yep. got a front seven that's getting after folks. Now that offensive line for the Steelers was supposed to be a strength. Hadn't been a strength all year. So had I'm I'm gonna tell you this: Rudolph is gonna get pressure. He's gonna get it. He didn't get it a lot against Seattle, which I don't know what's going on with Seattle's defense. This is why I think Teddy could score. But anyway, I <laughs> I, I think I man I I think I'm going with the 49ers. I and, and a lot of this is heart. A lot of this is I want Kyle Shanahan's offense to be fun. Yeah. I want a Kyle Shanahan team to be really good because when he's been good in the NFL, it's a lot of fun. And we need something fun happening after all these guys going down and getting hurt. We need fun yeah. to happen. We need Garoppolo to look good. We need we need good things going on. Yeah. Who we got next? Next up, the Broncos at the Packers. Oh, Packers talking are about seven and a half fun point. And uh, just sucking the wind out of. Fun. I know, right? Uh, Packers didn't score after that quick twenty-one to nothing lead against the Vikings. Got a big lead. Uh, got a got a big lead, but this seems like a ton of points. However, Joe Flacco, good gracious no, man, this just, Packer defense. I don't trust Joe. Um. Not, neither do I. Like I'm staying away from this one. Oh, if, I won't touch this game at all. If I if I had to go one way or the other, I, I'd probably go probably go Broncos just because seven and a half seems like a lot. Like that I, hook is pretty yes. crazy. If I get over a um, touchdown, because it, it just it's simply because the Broncos defense is still really good, and there's just something still not right about the Packers offense. When they scored 21 points, I thought, okay, we're getting the Packers offense that that people have talked about for years. But the last three years, it hadn't been there. Yeah, they scored twenty-one points by the by the second quarter, middle of the second quarter, and I thought, okay, the Packers are back. 
They went the rest of the game. They didn't score. And they weren't in the red zone. I mean, no. They weren't field goal range. They, they, didn't, they didn't get – I mean, close. it was three and out, three and out, three and out, three and out. And I just thought, maybe, maybe it's not fixed. Maybe it's just Kirk Cousins gives you a couple of turnovers and you can score on short fields. Yeah. I don't know the answer. I know this. Broncos defense is still pretty good. Offense, still long not good. Long way to go. Still not good. Uh, next up, Raiders and Vikings. This is in Minnesota. Vikings minus eight and a half. Uh, the money is actually going towards. The it's Raiders. way back up. Uh, way back up at the top. Uh, it's the Raiders. Where the hell am I? There it is, Oakland. Bad at driving here. Let's see. It, uh, it's 50-50 oh, split 50 split with ninety-seven percent of the money line bets coming on Minnesota, not which is well. Whenever crazy. you got a touchdown game, yeah, most people yeah. are not doing. Um, I just eight and a half seems like a lot of points. I got no earthly idea what to think of either one of these teams. I, Kirk Cousins, we, you talked about this before. He throws the most back-breaking interceptions. He turns the ball over. Now, if they, the lead, if they have a lead, they have a lead. Vikings aren't. That's what I'm saying. This is why this is where live betting comes in. If they have a lead, just keep pounding them every quarter. Just keep pounding the Vikings over. Yeah, because and over because once they get that lead, over. they're running Dalvin Cook that's, like it's going out of right. style. If they don't have the lead, just wait until they're in scoring position, and then you just bet turnovers. He's gonna turn. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Um, I I wouldn't bet this one. Eight oh and no, half I'm saying I'm saying crazy. I'm saying real far away. From uh, if you did want to lean, I'd probably go Raiders here, but. Uh, not to win. I, I don't know that I would do that just because I'm – I don't know. Like I said, if the Vikings get out early, they're going to stay out. Oh, that's, yeah. just, that's just the way they're going to be. Yeah. But if but if I had to lean – That's fine. I'd, I'd probably do Raiders just because eight and a half seems like an enormous amount of points. Next up, the Bengals at the Bills. This is in my gambling picks. Um, Bengals did not look good last week. They – Overperformed in game one, I think, for what's the head coach's name? Zach Taylor? Yes. Overperformed week one in Seattle. Uh, going on the road at the Bills, this defense for the Bills is legit. You were 100% dead on with them. Uh, Josh Allen looks a little bit better. Running game, dude, Singletary the is man. something. Now, he, 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 he pulled a hammy last week. Those soft tissue things yeah. scared me to death. Hey, so. Before the season, I thought this team could win nine games, and they um, are, are a wild card team. I think they're going to make the playoffs. Yeah, I feel really good about that. I think nine games might be generous. I, 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 are not enough. Yeah, that they could legitimately. I looked at their schedule the other day. I don't have it up, and I'm not going to start searching for it now. It take too long. But they they're going to start. I think they're going to start off three and zero, oh, and I, it's not real high. At some point in time, they still got the Dolphins twice. Yeah. I mean, they, I think this team They got the could Jets win, again. Yeah, I think this team could win 11 games, 12 games. Is that crazy? I don't think so. I mean, that schedule is... is and they're really good. Like, that's yeah. not just the that, schedule is super soft. And that's, that's not they're just talking about really the... They're also That's not talking about the offense. No. Like, the offense is, is good. Fine. It's good. Fine. The defense that is real good. Defense Next is level unbelievable. Good. No, yeah. I completely agree. I love this um, team. John McDermott is the job he's done there. Coach, is, coach, right now he's my coach of the year. Whew. He starts the season off three and zero. He's coach of the year. I don't know, man. He played the Giants and the Jets and the. You the, the you Bengals. keep crapping on the, all these other teams. It doesn't matter to me. I think he's way better than advertised. Nobody gives that man credit. No, I nobody I, I, nationally I give him talks credit. about I just, Sean McDermott. I just don't think that the the three games that he would have won at the beginning if they all won right, this. So one. look at the talent he's got, and look at the talent everybody else has got. Bill's loaded. You're not giving it to Bill. Andy Reid's loaded. You're not giving it to Andy. Yeah, but I, again, like all I don't think it's teams. just based off these three games. Like I think he's going to do well. Well, yeah, but I only got yeah. three games to look at. <laughs> I haven't play, we haven't played the whole season. Three, three game sample size. He is the coach of the year. Okay, okay. I only got two games really. We're just assuming that he beats the Bengals. Uh, next game. This Thursday, last, Thursday night. We done. We we got two more. It's the, the two, two more. Well, the two God prime time. Almighty. The two prime time games. Thursday night football, oh Titans days. at the Jags. Jaguars plus one and a half at home. Gardner Minshew is kind of like a covering machine, man. I like uh, this guy. Obviously, he didn't start week one, so he didn't cover against the Chiefs. But he did look really good in backup duty. He came out last week as a starter. He got the cover. You could not get any closer to that goal line than Leonard Fournette did. Um, 
But still, that that play calling I, really irritated me. I love going for it. I love the balls to do that. You know that. I, I kind of the, wish they. I wanted him to put the ball in Gardner's hands, but that's because he's our guy. Well, that, and he's also the one that got him down the field. That's right. Like, no, that, that, no, that's nothing, what irritates. Nothing me. infuriates us more than a team running the ball, running the ball, running the ball, and then they get to the goal line, they throw it three times, or or passing, passing, pass 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 yeah. and they get to the goal line and they run it three times right up the middle. Like we we talked you, about you this. You just got eighty five yards. Yeah. Like it was nothing doing one thing. It, you don't get was, down here. Let's just throw that whole playbook away. It was, it was away. Kentucky and Florida. Yeah, oh like my. on the college side where it, oh lord, it, like you and I talked about where it's so ready to you, fight. You get down the field by Sawyer Smith throwing the football, and in this case, it was Gardner Minshew throwing the football, and then you just just and just then, throw that whole game book away. Just did that whole all those plays didn't even matter. Let's let's forget the thing that actually worked. I mean that just it's so uh, frustrating. Uh, so Jaguars, Titans have kind of owned them here recently. Uh, bad spot for the Jags, I think. They feel good about themselves, which, of course, obviously you always want to feel good. Pissed off Titans team coming in. It, this is always a bad a bad spot for the Jags, it feels like. Um, I don't know, man. I just have a this, hard time thinking the Jags are going to stow 0-3. At some point in time, they're going to have a kitchen sink game where they throw everybody, everything at somebody. I think things are weird with Jalen Ramsey and that head coach and, and all that. I don't think Ramsey is the only one that's upset with the head coach. I think there's chemistry. So I heard I heard something completely different about that today, which is the two defensive guys that got up and pulled um, uh, the coach away mm-hmm. were were siding. They were sick of Ramsey too, but they they knew we gotta we gotta get the coach out of the situation. Yeah. But but they were sick of Ramsey, not not mad that the coach came over there. Right, right, right. It, it, if even if still, other if other DBs are if your own position is siding with the coach with management over siding with 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 the player, then that's not a good sign I, for agree, the player. For the player, that's not that's yeah. not a problem in the locker room. That's a that one guy's an it, asshole. It just it just makes me curious, right? Okay, I'm just I'm just curious. Okay. Um, Curiosity is not a bad thing. Yeah, I, 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 I want to see, I want to see what happens. Just want to see what happens. Finally, we'll wrap it up. Monday Night Football: Bears at the Redskins. Redskins, a three and a half point dog at home. Uh, this game is a dog because, good gracious, neither one of these offenses is great at all. I, I don't. We got to stop them. calling this the big game. Uh, it's the Monday. It's the prime time game. There's only 16 games, and there's, we talked about there's, all 16 of them. Be, no, we talked about eleven of them, and it's and these are just the extra 11 points. Eleven of the sixteen. These are these are the extra points. These are the interesting ones. That's it, and I'm I'm always going to put Thursday night and Monday night well, and Sunday night in there. We shouldn't have that rule. And so because they well I don't always do anything. Maybe going forward because we don't need tomorrow to. is totally different than today, and I don't always do anything. Well, there are people that are interested in these games. Well, yes, because they're NFL fans of those teams. But if we're going to do that, then let's break down all 16 of them because 11 out of 16 is ridiculous. If you're watching on YouTube or you're listening on the podcast, hit us up on Twitter. Leave some comments in the YouTube section. I mean, you just shit if, all over the Tampa Bay fans. If you think... Because we didn't talk about their game. About them and the Giants. Yeah. yeah we Miami, will. Dallas. We, we didn't talk about them at all. We will when we get DJ on for the, uh, mean, for the I, gambling picks. Um, but if... Look... You guys leave comments. Tell us what you want. Do you want us to talk about all the games? Do you want us to talk about fewer games? Do you think we're hitting it right in the sweet They're spot? They're going to say all the games because it doesn't take any work for them to say, <laughs> talk about all of them. Maybe so. We'll see. You guys get to decide. We'll, we'll listen. We'll listen. Whatever y'all want us to do, we'll do it. We'll just roll right through every one of them if need be. We're going we're gonna to create a Venmo and <laughs> you send us some cheese so we can quit our jobs. We're not good enough at this to make a living at it. Right now, that's fine. There you go. One day, if we do, I'll give you every game, every game in the world, if I could do this for a living. Hey, believe that. I got three other jobs. Believe that. All right, that's going to wrap up the show. As always, brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. Go over to tunicatravel.com to find more information on all of their sports books. Good stuff down there. Go to winningcureseverything.com to find more information about us. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts. Subscribe on Google Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, etc. Leave us some nice reviews. Leave some comments. We'll see you guys again next time. Best breakdown of the week. Believe Monday Night Football. Believe that. <laughs>
Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.